I don't know about you guys, but I remember seeing that intro in like every movie back in the day, right? But today I'm going to be talking about THX, that company, but they've made the THX Spatial Creator. And what this plugin does is it allows you to place your audio, whether it's, you know, music, any instrument, maybe it's sound effects for your film, place it in different relationships and different spaces around your viewer. Really cool. It's a great plugin I've been playing with for a while. It works here in DaVinci Resolve. And I just figured I'd show it to you guys because it's pretty cool. You might find it handy. And there's a few different ways that you can use it, not only to arrange your spatial audio, like I just kind of talked about in a scene with like, you know, maybe explosions or cars whizzing by or something like that. But a lot of times I talk about taking your music that sits below your dialogue and kind of spreading it out, right? With a, a, a plugin that's gonna spread out that audio to make some room for your dialogue. This THX Spatial Creator can do the same thing but I'd venture to say even a little bit better and spread out that music to make room for your dialogue. So let me just show you a little bit of how it works there. And if it's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can check it out. Oh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. It's just a really cool thing that THX reached out and said, hey, do you want to try this out? And I was like, yeah, sure, looks awesome. So let's check it out. So in Resolve here, I've already gone ahead, downloaded and installed the plugin. So we can apply it to a track here in the edit tab, but let's jump over to Fairlight because it's gonna be a little bit easier to work with. So in Fairlight, musical notes at the bottom here, we're in Fairlight and we're gonna start with our lead vocal and I'm just gonna show you kind of how it sounds a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and solo my lead vocal track here. And then on my lead vocal track, we're gonna add in the THX Spatial Creator plugin. So I'm gonna come to effects in my mixer. If you don't see your mixer, you open that up. Effects, we're gonna come down to Spatial, VST, and all the way at the bottom here, I have THX Spatial Creator. So when I open it up, you're gonna get something that looks like this. Now you've got a lot of different options here that you could do with all kinds of different things. You've got some presets in here. You can do custom settings. And essentially what we can do is put the audio wherever we want around the viewer. It could be behind them, below them, in front of them, around them. It could be anywhere that we want it to be. You can also automate all of the changes that you make here. So if you're working on a film and you want something to you know, go in certain directions, you can automate all of that. But let's just listen in and uh, let's just pick a preset here. Right now it's on factory. Um, let's start there and then I'll change it around a little bit and move the audio around. Now make sure you got a good pair of headphones on. That's how you're gonna hear uh, what's going on here. And this will simulate a you know 3D environment around your headphones. So. Plug that in, plug in your headphones and uh, listen to this. And all I have to do is come in here. I can use my middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the 3D room that I'm looking at here. You can also look at the side, the top, the front, but let's go 3D. And I'm just gonna click on this and drag the audio around and give it a listen, see what you think. Pretty cool, right? You can hear it moving all around and you can put it wherever you want if you want to spatially move things and have it stay in that location. Or you can use some automation to move it around as however you'd like. Now, another really cool thing that I like is if you come up here along the top here, you go to motion, it'll automatically move around our sound. So in this case, let's just uh, take a look here, circle around the head. So I'm gonna hit run. And now you can see the speaker is moving around the person, right? We've got the person in the middle of our little camera viewer here. I'm just gonna play through the audio and you can just listen to what happens to it. Pretty cool, right? Now you can have it, you know, continue to circle. You can change the speed of it if you wanted. You can change how far away it sounds. And you can even get different presets, right? If you want it to go oval, you want it to pan certain ways, you want to do a square. You've got a lot of options here, but this thing is just so cool. I could sit here and play with it all day. Let's just try it out on a different track here. So if I close this down, let's put it on, uh, I don't know, our piano track. So I'm just gonna click hold and drag this over and drop it on my piano track. I'm gonna open it back up here. I'm gonna solo out my piano and uh, let's just give it a little listen here and make some changes. Let's change this from factory. Let's go to a, how about a concert hall? So let's turn it off and then I'll turn it on after a second.
So you can hear it moving around. Maybe we don't want it running around like that. We just want the, the uh, concert hall here. We can come back to one of our standard views here. So pretty cool. We can do a lot of different things here. It's just a really cool program that uh, allows you to really move around your audio anywhere you want around your listener. There's tons of buttons and dials in here. You got a little bass boost, a treble boost, your master gain. You can balance left to right more. You've got all these different presets in here that you can start with. You can make your own room size, your own filter size. All this kind of stuff is really cool that you can use to just make your audio sound like it's wherever you want. Now, what if you wanted to use it how I mentioned for a music track so it sits below your dialogue a little bit better? Here's how I do that. So here's a video I recently put out, DaVinci Resolve 19 official release features, and I've got some music below my dialogue. Here's what that sounds like before we put on the Spatial Creator. DaVinci Resolve 19, the full release is finally here. Okay, so we can hear that it's kind of competing with the dialogue a little bit. Let's go ahead and throw on our Spatial Creator. Of course, we are in Fairlight here. We can go to our mixer, effects, spatial, VST and Spatial Creator. Now I'm just gonna pick a preset for this, so let's go with something like a hall. I'm gonna click on that. Let's just see how that sounds. I'm gonna solo this out just so we can hear a little before and after. So it definitely makes it sound a little bit wider, which is the effect that we're going for when we're trying to spread out our music a little bit so you can hear the dialogue better, right? So let's unmute our di or unmute our dialogue here. And let's just hear them together. Of 19, the full release is finally here. So today we're just gonna take a look at Resolve. We're gonna go over a whole bunch of features. I've got a ton of them. And we can always adjust our volume a little bit on the music because now we can make it a little bit louder because it's not gonna compete with our dialogue so much. We're just gonna take a look at Resolve. We're gonna go over a whole bunch of features. I've got a ton of them. It may be a long video. And you can use any kind of preset here or just set your own thing to however you want. Let's try Resonant Room here. One of them, it may be not quite what I was thinking, right? But you've got options here. You can go through, pick the different things that you might want to try and see how it sounds. So that is the THX Spatial Creator here. So many cool things you can do with that and moving the audio around and 3D space and stuff. So if you're looking to do that kind of work where you want to move stuff around, automate things, you want to just have an effect like this, this one is really cool. A big thank you to THX for it. Let me give it a try. Again, this is not sponsored. I'm not paid to say this is cool. I just, I think it's pretty cool. And if you guys are looking for something like this, maybe it's something you want to check out. So I'll leave a link down below. If you got any questions about it, feel free to uh, leave a question. I'll answer it the best that I can. And uh, with that said, I'm off to make some more videos and throw the spatial creator on there so I can create a cool little 3D space flying around you while we're making some videos. All right, good hanging out with you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.